welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my new medium length hair. So about um, two and a half months ago I cut like five inches off my hair. For me this is pretty short. I've never really had my hair this short. Um, one time in seventh grade I cut it right up to my shoulders. Absolutely hated it. So I hadn't cut my hair for like ten years. I would always just get a trim obviously and I just needed a change. My hair was so heavy and it was so flat to my head. I just wasn't really liking the way it looked anymore. So now, um, last time I got my cut was about a week ago, and I got another three inches cut off to bring it right back up, um, right up here on my chest, and then I got some layers, I got it blonder, and then I had some face framing layers added in too. So I really, really love the way my hair is cut. I love the color of it. It just feels so fresh, and it has like good body to it. And I've just really been learning how to style like medium length hair or short hair for me. So I wanted to share with you guys kind of my tips and tricks and what I've been doing and how I achieve these curls. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. This is my natural hair. I just washed it yesterday afternoon. So as soon as I get out of the shower um, and before I brush my hair, I've been using the Not Your Mother's Natural Royal Honey um, Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner for damaged hair. So this smells so, so good. It smells like a vacation and it's really convenient because it has that nice little spray bottle. So I just do like two or three spritz on this half of my hair and then do the same over here and then I brush it out. This stuff is amazing. It seriously helps you comb out your hair. It just makes it so much easier and quicker. And then once my hair has dried, um, probably about one third of the way dry, I like to add the Not Your Mother's um, hair serum. And I had ripped the label off of this because it started to peel up and it was driving me nuts. So that's why it's just like a blank bottle. But it is the Not Your Mother's hair serum. I love this stuff. I generally do two or three pumps and then I just rub my hands together and I'll just run it through like the ends of my hair. I don't put it up here at all. I really only go from about here down. And that's just to kind of seal my ends and just keep my hair looking really healthy. So those are really the only two products that I use in my hair before I start styling. So to curl my hair, I always use my Conair Infinity Pro um, one inch curling iron. This curling iron, you guys have heard me talk about it before. It is amazing. I got this at Target. It's under $25, I believe. And it's just way better than any curling iron I've ever used. This one just curls my hair so fast and then it holds for two or three days. So I just, I really recommend this. Super affordable and it's the best curling iron. So jumping right into how I style my medium length hair, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and split it into two sections and bring it all to the front. Um, I just like to tuck this section behind my, hair, my ear so I can work with this section. Um, so I like to start on the underneath. So I'm grabbing a little piece from underneath, about one inch sections taking my curling iron and I'm having the clamp face the back so it's wrapping around the front of the curling iron and facing the back and then I just clamp it at the top roll it I like to hold it for a second slide it down roll it up and then I really like to leave like that one inch to two inches just completely out at the bottom and then I will just kind of wiggle the clamp and slide it out so I get a curl kind of like that. So I really like to leave the ends of my hair straight because it still helps it to look long. So if you were to curl the whole piece, I just feel like your hair just shrinks right up. Whereas if you leave the bottom long, it's curly and then it still has the length at the bottom. So again, I'm just taking this piece, pulling it to the outside and grabbing my curling iron with the clamp curling to the back, wrapping it around my hair, sliding it down and rolling it up. And I just like the curliest part of my hair to be at the root, so um, it just gives it more volume and then it just kind of falls looser towards the bottom. So then I just start grabbing the pieces furthest from the back. It doesn't necessarily mean it's underneath. I just kind of work my way to the front. So this is the next piece and I just wrap it from the top. This combination of these two products is a dream. I honestly feel like my hair is just so, so smooth and surprisingly not greasy or heavy in any way. So I've really, really been enjoying those two.
So when I'm working on the very top layers, as you can see when I pull my hair up, it's kind of like bunched up a little bit right here. So I really like to just comb it out with my fingers and get it laying really, really flat. That way when I put the curling iron on it, I can kind of smooth out the top and then begin my curl. If you go ahead and clamp it right away, sometimes it can create like um, little crimps at the top of your hair just because it's not completely straightened out. So I just recommend doing that. And when I'm done with this side, I'll just go ahead and comb it out with my fingers. And then if there are any pieces that you feel like need to kind of be recurled that just didn't hold well, I go ahead and do that. So I just throw it to the back and then I'll start working on this side. So again, just grabbing that piece all the way in the back at the bottom, pulling it to the outside, grabbing my curling iron, and this, on this side, I'm holding it with my dominant hand, so the same side as I am curling my hair. And I just use it, I use my thumb to pull this out. And it's just, instead of the clamp being faced to the back, it's kind of facing towards my head. But as soon as I turn it, it is towards the back. So if that makes sense, the clamp is still wrapping it around to the back. And then once I feel like all the pieces are curled pretty well, I will go ahead and take a mirror and I just like to look at the back to make sure I haven't missed any pieces or anything like that. And in the front, I just like to kind of separate these pieces in the front so that I kind of have like these two and then the rest of my hair blends if that makes sense. So just kind of keeping them separated. And I just feel like that really creates like a nice kind of like PC messy look just right from the front. So then I'm just kind of like messing up my roots a little bit and just kind of pushing my hair upwards. And then I kind of go like this at the bottom just to create some texture and break up my curls just a little bit more. And then I'm just going to be taking some hairspray. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume Hairspray. Um, it just says holds body and lift and it's extra hold strong at a level three. So I just shake that up and I just spray a little bit. I spray it pretty far away and just kind of like shake the bottle so it just falls kind of randomly on my hair. And then I crunch it and kind of like twist it backwards. So that's kind of what my hair, my hair is doing, my hand is doing. So that is absolutely it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see maybe more videos like this. If you guys have any requests for videos, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.